Making law enforcement accountable. Salt Lake City could be the first in the state to elect a citizen council to investigate complaints against police. So who would be involved and how would it really work? News for Utah's Rosie Newen went to find out. Utah Against Police Brutality says they want to form a council that will police the police. If their proposal becomes a city ordinance, they could have the power to review policies and fire a police officer. We cannot afford to let this disturbing trend of police terror continue on like this. Members of UAPB say everything they've been working toward for the last four years led to this proposal. Today, they announced their efforts to form the Salt Lake Civilian Police Accountability Council. And this would be an independent board uh, of elected officials, right? This would be a democratically elected body specific to Salt Lake City um, that wouldn't be uh, subject to the party politics or the uh, uh, other kinds of politics that get in the way of actually holding police accountable. Police say there are other groups that do what UAPB is proposing, one of those being a civilian review board appointed by the mayor. We've been meeting with Utahns Against Police Brutality and interacting with them and, and showing them what's taking place in the department, answering their questions, giving them access to different, uh, different parts of the department. However, UAPB says they haven't seen the accountability and transparency they've asked for from police. It just seems like it's all talk and it's roundabout conversation, but there's no solutions that they're willing to implement. UAPB says they will be meeting with city council members with the intention of gaining support for their ordinance. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, News for Utah. Salt Lake City police say they have multiple platforms already for community members to work with law enforcement. For more information, you can head over to our website at goodforutah.com.